Hello and welcome to the 24th video in this series programming a test engine in JavaScript. So last video you'll remember that we set up the move generation for pawns, well certainly inside generate moves, with some placeholders for the actual functions that will be added later on to generate the moves. What we need to do also inside this color specific if else code section here for if white or black is actually add in the castling moves before we go on to looking at the moves for the general pieces. So inside the colors white just down below the section where we add the on passant move here I'm going to make a little bit of space and scroll this up so make sure it's just after this last, uh, sorry not that last bracket actually, after this bracket before the piece type white knight here and I'm just going to scroll this up and now we're going to say that we want to generate the castling moves. Now you remember that in our board structure we have the castle permission and that's set from 0 to 15 according to these bits that we have set for the different castling permissions in or that we've defined sorry in devs.js. So back into move gen I can say then that if the game board and then the castle permission bitwise ended with castle bit dot and then let's say the white king side castle. So if that's non zero, it means that we have the possibility in this position to do a white king side castling. And to be able to castle king side, we need to test a couple of things F1 and G1. Because we'll be moving our king from e1 to g1 and our rook from h1 to f1, we need to make sure that f1 and g1 are empty. And also, if we're in check, so e1 is attacked by black, then we can't ge make them uh, generate the move because we're not allowed to when we're in check. And also, we'll check also whether f1 is attacked by black because you're not allowed to castle across check. We also can't finish up in check either, obviously, but that will be checked in the at the end of the uh, make move function, which will be ge um, uh, programming after this generate moves function, along with the normal uh, normal uh, legality testing. So for now, we need to do two things. Like I said, check that F1 and G1 are empty, and that E1 and F1 are not attacked by black. So the the less processing time or the lowest processing time goes into checking whether the squares are empty or not first. So we'll say that if game board and dot pieces and then we'll say squares dot f1 equals pieces dot empty and and I'm just going to copy and paste this in here to keep things a little bit quicker and g1 is empty. So if f1 and g1 are empty now we need to do the square attack detection. So we'll say that if, and now you remember that we made in the board.js the square attack function a couple of videos ago. So we want to know if squares.f1 is attacked by colors.black, if that equals then bool.false and We'll also say e1 is uh, bull.false. So if e1's not attacked by black either, then we can generate a castling move here. And I'm just going to put the placeholder in now for add quiet move. And that will be adding a non capturing move and we'll be setting the flag as an argument to this function for castling. So that's all there is actually to it to generate the castling move. We can now take this copy and paste and we have to be a little bit careful here make sure I don't build in any bugs so we've got white queen side castling we want to do now and here because we move further with the queen side castling we need to check here that d1 c1 and b1 are empty so we need to check that d1 is empty c1 is empty but we also need to add on another and clause which I'll just so I can keep things a little bit more condensed here add on here and also check that B1 is empty. And for the attack squares, we need to check E1 as before, but this time we're checking D1 because we're moving from E1 to C1. So that's all we need to check in this case. 
So that's how we'll generate the moves for castling for white. And now I'm going to take this again and copy it. And I'm going to scroll down and just above the piece type Black Knight, I'm going to paste the code in there. Scroll up a bit. And now we're going to go for black kingside castling and black queenside castling and go through this very carefully line by line so we don't have any bugs. So we're going to say if f8 is empty and g8 is empty and f8 is not attacked by white and e8 is not attacked by white then we'll add in the quiet move. Otherwise if our permission bitwise ends with black queen castling and d8 is empty and c8 is empty and b8 is empty and d8 is attacked by is not attacked by white and e8 is not attacked by white then we can add our quiet move here which will be our castling move okay so that's it then for this video that's the generation of the castling moves added in as well not quite generation because we haven't added these quiet moves in yet but we're nearly there with the uh, generating of all the moves now so in the next video we'll start setting up how we generate then the rest of the pieces so thanks very much for watching and comments questions criticisms welcome as always on YouTube